Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use colors inside of Flash CS4. So the first thing that I want to do is put out three, um, yeah, four rectangles on the screen. So let me go do this. By going over to my tool palette, I'm going to select my rectangle tool. Or you can press R, and I'm going to draw four rectangles on the screen. And there we have it, four rectangles on the screen. Um, the point of me doing this is to show you the type of um, colors that we can use inside of Flash CS4. So what we want to do is have out the color uh, palette, and which I have to the side here. And the way you can get to that is going on the window, clicking on window, and you should see color, Shift F9, uh, I'm not sure what it is on the Mac, but um, window <laughs> is there. There we go. So what I want to do, and once you click on that, you, you should get your colors palette. It's probably floating, so what you can do is just drag and attach it to the side, which will give you that um, anchored effect. <laughs> or Okay, so the thing that we can do is we can pick from these uh, four different types of colors, well, or, or color types, or effects if you will so right now the basic or default is solid you always get that solid color um, and what we're going to do now is go to linear so uh, you know what? I'm going to click on this one here select it and go to linear and I have a bunch of colors right now all sorts of crazy colors and usually what you would see is just two colors probably you're probably seeing black and white and um, is just show you what's going on here. In fact, you know, I'm just going to keep continue to use this single one. All right. So if I move this uh, slider here, you can see that there's changes immediately to this um, to the fill of your item, which is basically the color inside of here. And that's all well and all, but um, what if you want to change the colors? You know, that's that's a problem too. So what you do is you double click on your item or this this color slider and you change it to a value that you desire change that to uh, pink why not so now that's how you change colors that's all great alright what if you want to add more colors so anywhere that is not a color slider you can just click and it adds that color you can also use up here to change colors as long as you select it first so there you go or you can double click to get that color palette out. So that's how you do it. And if you want to remove a color, you click on that color slider and drag out. And now this works for um, the radius tool too. So now you know what to do. You can uh, slide. Now I want to show you the free uh, transform tool. And inside a free transform tool, you should see gradient transform tool. And the gradient transform tool allow you, allows you to do all sorts of things like um, right now it's from left to right but a lot of times I find that people want to go up and down so the way you do that is you just rotate it where that little ball was you can also shrink it or um, yeah I guess that's the best word to use right now shrink it uh, this color here to the source you can shrink the source to a smaller or you can uh, extend the source so you get a, a wider range of colors. So yeah, there we go. And you can also move the source around, but that doesn't help in a gradient really. So there you go. You can angle it, all that jazz. All right, let's move on to radial. So let's go to radial. The, the only difference between radial and uh, linear is that it's radiate. The colors radiate out. Um, and you can see that they, you have the center color and you can add more colors if you so choose to and they would become these these rings of uh, color as you see see all these rings of color also you can shrink the source just like in the um, other uh, in linear you can rotate it now you may see that rotating sounds kinda goofy but you can also shrink it so it becomes a oval and once an oval now it makes sense to rotate it. Then look, it kind of looks like a universe. 
All right, moving on, and you know how to remove the items, drag it out. And this makes more sense in radial, which you can move around the source. So you can have that source color come out from the center. You know, use your imagination. It's, you know, <laughs> use your imagination. All right, last but not least, we have the bitmap. And once you click on the bitmap, if you don't have any... Um, if you don't have any items, what you can do is import. And what I mean by items, I mean bitmap. So what is a bitmap? That is any image made of pixels. So I'll click on import. This is all image formats. Uh, and once you click on that, you should have an import to library come up. Amazing. I'm going to switch to the thumbnail view. And, um, ooh. all right, I'm going to pick this one. All right, so when I click on the item with my selection tool, I can just go to bitmap, and once I click on it, it becomes that. And you can also use the uh, uh, gradients tool um, to rotate your bitmap. So, I mean, there's just an endless uh, amount of things you can do with this. So you, you basically tile your bitmap. So um, that's about it for colors. It's all in a nutshell. I mean, you you know basically draw a fill and uh, decide what type of filling you want inside of your image. That's it. That's concise, and that's how it is. Uh, and there you go. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash. Um, before you leave, if you like my tutorials, make sure that you don't forget to subscribe or uh, add a comment. And if you have a little bit of time on your hands, go to onenterflash.blogspot.com. And here I have my revamped website. Um, we have the share button here, so you can share it with your dig pals and whatnot. Search, and also um, all my movies, all, all my tutorials. And if you'll be so kind to click on an ad to put a few pennies in my pocket, or you can donate using... Um, uh, Google Checkout, look at that. And the tutorials, I have just basically overhauled the website to make it a lot easier for everyone to come and watch the tutorials. So thanks for watching on Enter Flash. Until next time, this is Worth.